another video that I wanted to put out here first as I get the organic chemistry page under construction and underway is the basic video demonstrating the nucleophilic substitution reaction. So what's some general information that we need to know about this? Well, first of all, we need to know that it's a polar reaction. It involves a nucleophile being attracted to an electrophile. Remember, phile means loving. So, nucleophile and electron file. And then you can think of these mechanisms that we're going to write as transferring electrons from areas that are rich to electron poor. So our nucleophile, electron rich, right? It's got a lone pair of electrons here, nucleophile. And our electrophile is going to be electron poor. So this is an area of the molecule where we've got a partial positive charge whereas here we've got a partial negative charge. Okay, So our nucleophile attacks electron rich to electron poor and then these electrons here get transferred here. So we're left with a bond between whatever that R was and our nucleophile and then we've got a leaving group. Okay, So this is one of the most basic nucleophilic substitutions that you can see. Now there are lots of factors to look at here and this is all covered in chapter 6 of your textbook. Now this is supposed to be a three minute video so I'm not going to be able to get into all these specific details. But in your text I really want to make sure to encourage you to read about the leaving group itself, right? the factors that this, um, this leaving group has can really strongly affect the kinetics of the reaction. The reactivity of the nucleophile itself, okay, that also strongly influences kinetics. As long as well as the structure of the alkyl portion of the substrate. Now, in terms of stereochemistry, we have what's called backside displacement, and that causes the inversion of the reacting center. And then there are solvent effects. Again, this is a three minute video, so I'm not going to be able to get in all the details of this in a short little video, but I really strongly encourage you to read about all these factors in chapter six of your textbook. So let's go through an example, just a basic um, mechanism example. Write a mechanism showing this reaction. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we need to establish where the nucleophile and where the electrophile are. Okay, because of this halogen here, that means that this carbon is going to be electron poor, right? So that's my partial positive. That, that carbon is going to be partial positive because this halogen here, that's going to be my partial negative. And this oxygen here, it's got plenty of electrons hanging around, right? So these electrons, well this right here, attacks right here, and then these electrons here get pushed over onto here. So what you're left with, there's your leaving group, and then there's your final product. I really strongly encourage you to read chapter 6 in your textbook, but this basic example and the basic format should help you get started. And I hope this gives you a nice foundation for beginning SN2 reactions.